I enjoyed it because you talked about rest, and I'm a big rest guy. Um, the, <laughs> a little bit of joyful, too. Um, but I really, when you read the word, what does the Lord say that he will give you? And he says he will give you rest, but first we have to come to him. <laughs> and the Lord has shown me that if I am not resting, it is because I did not come to him. Mm, that's good. That's good. And I come to him only because I love him. So if I do not come to him, then I choose to love myself over him. Mm. So we were singing that song, <laughs> Oh, How He Loves Us. And the reckless love, and we see yeah, the amount of love that he has for us. Mm. But I was reminded at my seat of when he came to Peter and said, Peter, do you love me? He said, oh, yeah, I love you. And then tend to my sheep. If I am not mm. speaking life to every one of you, every time I see you, I'm not tending to you. That's good. And the Lord says that if I love him, and the rest that he gives me, I will tend to the sheep so that they can have rest as well. That's good. Great word, Josh. Wow. <laughs> hey, my brother. Um, I just want to say I get the opportunity sometimes to see Roger during the week, and I, I'm a question person. And sometimes when he's up here, I'm thinking, well, what if it's not that? What if it's this? And I don't raise my hand and say anything like I do in Sunday school. But... Um, one of the things he said last week was he was up here and he said, you know, above the line and below the line. Below the line, he said, I have diabetes and this and that. And above the line, I'm healed. And my question was, what if somebody's not healed? What if their cancer does stay? And he's like, but you got to think of the now. I don't know if y'all heard that last week. It was now. In God's eyes, he looks and he sees you're healed. Whether it be on earth that whoever has cancer, it goes away, or in heaven, it's going away. You're healed. You're totally healed. Um, mm. And also, that was, the, that was the big thing I got last week. And so that was, because I have some, like, really bad veins, and there's blood pooling down there. And, and every day, I pray, God, give me new legs, give me new veins. Mm. And I don't get upset now that if he doesn't do anything or if something's not mm. happening with him. I'm like, uh, it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah, it's done. And so... But also, can I say one more thing about the song Reckless Love? Yeah. There's, there's no shadow he won't light up. There's no mountain he won't climb up. I'm nervous, so there's no wall he won't kick down. There's no lie, lie he won't, yeah. All those, <clears throat> I'm, I love my kids and my grandkids. And I was sitting next to Allie, and God just, like, gave me this picture that those four things, and everybody, this is offered to everybody, he God will do that for everybody. Yeah. But those four things, he's, he's like, bam, they're like on your child right now. Those things are for your child because he knows my heart and he knows like she's going to be having some different things going on this year that I'm like, I want her to stay. I want to hold on. But he's like, he loves me so much. He showed me this picture. He's like, I have all these for Allie. Yeah. These, and, and all my children, it's for all, it's for everybody. But, um, he needed to show me that. He knew that. And it's like, That's that good. was a big eye-opener this morning. Anyway. <laughs>